Welcome to our World of Fiery videos, covering topics of everyday importance to print providers. Today we will cover Fiery Server Presets. So a server preset is really a collection of all the job property settings that you need to produce a specific job. And it's really all about efficiency and action where you define what you need for your job and save it as a preset with a custom name. These presets are selectable to apply to future jobs and really it's reducing your setup time to one or minimal steps with all the fiery automation workflows. So when we looked at the fiery systems available, there was a distinction between server and local presets. So just to highlight, fires do include both kinds. The local presets are created and they're used only by the individual who created them, meaning they're available on the user that created them on their workstation. Server presets, on the other hand, are created by fire administrators, where they can set up the commonly used job properties, and they're stored centrally and accessed in Fiery Command Workstation. And really, it's allowing all your users to access the commonly used settings and all their workflows. And the administrators do have some control to allow manage and share these presets uh, if you want to save, save and share them amongst your different Fiery systems. What's nice is it does provide a consistent user interface. It really helps it so all the users see the same options and gives them that consistency whether they're using the print driver or job properties or hot folders. And it really is the foundational building block because when you create a preset, you can add that into your additional workflows. What's nice is you also can take a server preset, begin with that, add some additional settings, and then make a new preset. I'd like to begin with a brief demonstration just to show you how easily you can set up a job preset in Command Workstation. So I'm going to begin in Command Workstation Device Center Workflows. Here in Job Presets, I can see a listing of presets that I've already created. And by selecting one, I can view this. But let's go ahead and make a new preset for a common customer job. I'll name it FGS Booklet Gloss. And in the description, I can add some information so that others might know what this preset is intended for. Next, I can go ahead and define what job property settings are required to produce this job. Since this preset will be a unique version of a booklet, I can actually begin by applying a booklet preset that I've already created that has some finishing in it. I know the Sterling Gloss Media, so I'm going to add the paper for both the body and the cover. And again, I can add any settings within the job properties that I'd like. Once I select OK, my preset is saved, and now I can go ahead and view the settings that I have. I can Here I can take a quick look and just make a confirmation that I've got all the settings that I need. So now, back in Job Center, the next time that I receive this customer, I can apply that preset in one step. Another way to create a preset is right from Command Workstation Job Properties. So if you've taken the time to set up a job that you know you're going to reuse those settings again, once you open the job properties, you can select presets, save a preset, go ahead, enter a name, and then identify if you'd like it to be a local or server. And I would like to point out and remind you that server presets do require administrator access. If I was logged into Command Workstation as an operator, I would have the ability to save a local preset only. So we'll go ahead and save that. And now we'll see back in Command Workstation, my preset has been applied. Again, creating the preset is reducing my job setup from many steps to only one. Thank you for watching. For additional resources and e-learning classes on this topic, visit our website. To see all recorded sessions and register for upcoming World of Fiery webinars, please visit efi.com forward slash WOF webinars.